Okie dokie. Hi everybody. How you doing? I just wanted to come on here and uh, wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving for tomorrow. Well, you probably see this tomorrow on Thanksgiving, but it's Wednesday evening for me. Um, I did a turkey pour today, actually two of them, and I wasn't too crazy about it. And if uh, those of you that haven't heard of that, you put your hand down, mixed media girl, she kind of came up with it and you just pour over your hand and it actually looks like a turkey sometimes. But I wasn't happy with it and I thought, oh man, because I really wanted to do that. So I just grabbed some old bottles and I'm figuring I need to use up some of these acrylics. And that's what I'm gonna do. I have a 10 by 10, I'm gonna do like a ribbon pour and we'll just go for it. Now I have, uh, my paints are all mixed with two parts Floetrol, one part paint and, and a little water to you know thin them down um, to my consistency. So I have a little tiny bit of glue all in this jug here I put in there. Probably, this is probably a half a gallon of Floetrol and I put in about a cup of glue all. So that's in there. I was using that as a binder for my white Artist Loft Flow because I always seem to get specks with that. So we'll, we'll see how this reacts. You know, it just helps with the binder. And maybe I'll get cells, maybe I won't, <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, I have a mixture though going on. This is uh, Amethyst, okay? And I have, because I'm using them up, Anita Metallic Amethyst. And I mix that with some DecoArt Dazzling Metallic. So this one is empty. One down. And then I'm using Pearl Craftsmart. That's not mixed. And then my other one I have mixed here, that's the pearl, is teal. Well, it's a lot more of the aquamarine metallic premium ultra bright. And then I added a little bit of the teal metallic. So that one is garbage. Right on. And then I have silver, shimmering silver. Okay, that's gone. Mixed with a little bit of Arteza, you know, the Arteza packet, silver. Okay. They were all very similar colors, so. I mean, the amethyst was the amethyst, so. Anyway, we'll see what happens here. Let's get started. I hope I don't get no chunks. I did strain these because these were older bottles, you know. I just need something go in there. That's a real bummer. Let me check real quick. Maybe not though. I just have it a little thicker. No, I strained it. All right. I'm not gonna freak out about it. Okay. Then I'm gonna go with the purple or amethyst. And go with the silver. Not too much silver. And aquamarine and teal. 
I need 10 ounces. I barked my container. Silver. Let's see where am I at? Not quite. All right. So there we go. And here we go. Sorry about that. Let's see, I'm gonna go like this first. That would be so pretty. Just keep doing that. That is so pretty together. Yeah, it don't matter. I'm going to go with what I said I was going to do. It is beautiful. Really nice together. Okay. Bring that out. That's pretty. Wait on. Yeah, that's beautiful. I don't think I'm going to get too much cells because of the glue all. But you never know. Uh, was there anything in there? No. That is beautiful. Anything I don't like. Gotta look at it now. <laughs> Cause you know how it is, you don't look good enough and then you're like, hmm, that part bugs me. I'm not, this is pretty. Uh, I'm not seeing anything that really don't bug me. I, I needed this to connect. Uh, let's see. Gonna do it now. There we go. Bring it back to the middle. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha, it's much better. All right, this is beautiful, just gorgeous. Let's torch it. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna sell up too much there. Right on. That sure is pretty with that silver in there. That's great. I love it. Perfect white, everything. Well, I guess I'm going 
guess I haven't lost my touch. Man, that is neat. So we'll just wait a minute or two, well, about five minutes. See if it accumulates any more cells. I don't think it's going to though, because I can tell by looking at it, but we'll wait it out. Okay, this is gorgeous. I'm really happy about that, because today was not the greatest day. You know how those days go where you're just like, I'm out, I'm poor painted. Well, I did the other day, but, you know, my ribbon pours and stuff, I've been doing. Anyway, let's take a look. I'm going to lower the camera just a little. It's going to squeak. It's a terrible noise. But that way I get to see in there. Get the cord out of the way. It is so pretty. Oops, just hit the cord. Turn it around. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Around the middle. So I did get some cells popping up. Kind of neat. That totally gives it some character. Pretty neat. I like it like this. It doesn't matter really. It's not completely in view. Not being the top. It really is. I couldn't make up my mind. There we go. Knocking things over. Yeah, this way just kind of stands out more. There we go. Here, I'm going to turn it this way for now. Okay, so I'll show you my uh, turkey pour. I poured over this twice. Uh, I used... Uh, yellow okra and it didn't show up at all in here <laughs> so it was green and burnt sienna I, I'm not crazy about it but that does look like feathers so if you haven't seen the turkey pour I will put a mixed media girls link to her actual first one but look how it actually it looks like it's got a head and then it's the feathers. And I'll show you some other things I've got finished. I put another coat on this and it's just beautiful as can be. I am super delighted with this one. It is so gorgeous. That this is like usually I have some lint or hair. It's flawless. It is super smooth. Turned out really pretty. So I got that done. Just need to put a hook on the back. And let's see. I told you guys I'd show them to you when I was done, so I'm doing that. <laughs> I put a coat of resin on this one. It's pretty nice. Beautiful. Actually, I love it. That's that glass. Black, remember that? 
And let's see. I might get a painter. I put a coat of resin on this one. I did get paint on it. Bummer. I did the back so nice. I'll take that. That's my son's playing with me, Jay. <laughs> I finally got this done. I put turquoise on the back of that one. That's resin too now. And this one is actually going out in the mail. Oh, probably next week. I put a coat of resin on this one. I love this one this way. So pretty. What else did I get done this week? Uh, oh, yeah. My Halloween bowl. I told you guys I was going to show you. But I'm still not finished with this because I want to fix my rim a little because I walked away from it and didn't keep wiping the rim. It's not bad, though. But all I have to do is put a little coat of... Just run my finger around the edge with some resin, but... Here's my Halloween bowl, all resined. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> and the colors just totally came out. Love it. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I think that's it. Caught up on showing you some things that I promised I would show you. Oh, these. I put a coat of resin on too. Wasn't too crazy about them, but they're kind of neat. Remember I used my old uh, coaster? <laughs> I put resin on them too. It's kind of neat. <laughs> and I've been practicing. I know, it's kind of funny. But it might look cooler with some resin on it. Um, I would wipe this off again, but I did it three times and uh, I, I'm just, I did it with the alcohol to get it off. I was afraid it was going to start taking it off, off the paint. This was one of those um, uh, dumping swirls. And I practiced like three times today on my jellyfish and this is what I came up with. <laughs> so I know what I need to do next time and that's to make these thinner. But I thought it was kind of cool for, you know, my third time practicing. Uh, Sharon Share Bear does these. They're so pretty. Um, she has a page of her own now too, that you can browse through and look at all her beautiful artwork. I'll put that link in my description too. But that's how I, I copied this from her pictures. <laughs> that's the best I could do though. Uh, it's too big too for the painting. I think if I would have made it smaller and slanted maybe a little, but I learned. So that's cool to learn because I get so many of those, you know, water looking ones and I don't know how to draw real well and everything so well that does it I wonder how long I took here <laughs> anyway so tomorrow's Thanksgiving and I'm not sure when you'll see this but happy Thanksgiving guys you know uh, I have a lot of things to be thankful for this year. I really do. 
I count every blessing. I count my water as a blessing <laughs> when I get in the shower. I'm like, thank you. Uh, it, but I know it's been a rough year for all of us. And, you know, some people even more so. But I know we can always find something to be thankful for. So, anyway, thank you for watching. I am thankful for all of you and all my subscribers and the new subscribers. I'm thankful that you're here. And uh, everybody just have a real safe Thanksgiving and a good, nice weekend. Safe one now, okay? Everybody, take care. I will catch you guys later. Uh, not Thanksgiving Day, though. Bye-bye now.